All right, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to review some sets, uh, Venn diagrams, and taking probability off a of Venn diagram. Um, so, uh, let's get going. Okay, so we have the sets P, Q, and R, okie dokie, are subsets of U. Okay, they're defined as follows. Positive, U is positive integers less than 13. Okay, well, what I like to do is just, you know, number these. So that's going to be, you know, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. I can't make brackets worth anything. My students always make fun of me for it. <clears throat> All right, the prime numbers. Now, you got to be careful with prime numbers. Kids make a lot of um, mistakes with these. Okay. So, you know, the first prime number is 2. One's not a prime number. The definition of a prime number is it has two factors, one in itself. So two is the only even prime number. Then it would be 3, 5, 7, and 11, and that would be it. Okay, the factors of 18. Well, if you look at factors, if you take the number 18, the factors are 1 times 18, 2 times 9, and 3 times 6. Well, which ones of these fit below you know, 13. Well, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 6, and 9. So this one's going to be 1, 2, 3, 6, and 9. Okay, so that's those are factors. And then multiples is just skip counting. So multiples would be 3, 6, 9, and 12. Okay. Ooh, those are just ugly. Whatever. Anyway, um, <clears throat> told you they were horrible. Okay, so list the elements of all. Well, we just did P. I just did P. I just did Q. I just did R. Now, they want to know if there's an intersection between P. This little term here means intersection, okay? So that means it has to be in both of them. Well, in this case, it has to be in all three. So are there any that are in P, Q, and R? Well, okay, two. Is that in all of them? No, three. Ooh, I see a three. It's in all three of them. Okay, any more? Um, five, no, seven, no, nine, uh, no. Okay, so the answer here would be the intersection would be three. Okay, wow, that's a, wow, that is just, whoa, that is not even like, I, I gotta get the eraser out for that. That's just, <laughs> ooh, that is just not, not pretty. I know you're supposed to be like, whoop. Okay. Ooh, that was a good one. Looks like a fade. Looks like Jay Leno. Okay. Um, now draw a diagram showing the relationship between these and put the in the appropriate places. Okay. No problem. So we'll just you know make our Venn diagram here. This is going to have three intersecting circles, which most of them do on these problems. Okay. And so we'll just do P. We'll do Q. We'll do R. Now U is right here. Make sure to draw your um, your rectangle because you'll get a mark for that. Some kids always forget. I just we just had our mock exams and my kids were forgetting to do that, so that's not cool. Okay, so let's see what do we got here. Um, okay, so two. Let's see. Well, three in the goes in the middle, right? Because uh, we need to put you know start to work out here. Three. Okay. What about um, P and Q? What do they have in common? Well, they have a 3. They have a 2 in common. Okay. They have... So we've got that one. We've got 3, 5, 6. They don't have anything else in common. So let's do Q and R now. So Q and R. They have the 3 in common. They have 6 and 9. Right there. 6 and 9. Okay, so that's going to be 6... And 9 right there. You don't even need to put commas. Okay. And then P and R. Well, P and R, let's see. What do they have in common? They have the 3, no 6, no... They got nothing. Okay. So we're, we're good to go there. Okay. So let's see which ones we haven't used in P. So we've used the 2 and the 3. So this is going to be um, 5, 7, and 11. What's left in Q? Um, 1... And we've used the 2, we've used the 3, and the 6 and the 9, so we're good there. And what do we got here? 12. Okay, so the only thing left we have to look at here is which numbers haven't we used. Well, we've used the 1, we've used the 2, we've used the 3, and we used the 4. No. 
Five, yes. Six, yes. Seven, yes. Eight, no. So that would go right there. Nine, yes. Ten, have we used a ten? No. Okay, eleven and twelve. So we're good. Okay, so, you know, basically a lot of kids always forget to put the, the part that's on the outside. Okay, now it says write the elements of the sets of P, uh, of U. Okay, so yeah, this is right. Okay, so from the Venn diagram lists the elements of the union of P and the intersection of Q and R. Okay, so union of P, which is here, and the intersection of Q and R, which is right here. So we're going to look at this whole thing right here and the intersection right here. So they want the union of that, so we have to put everything. Okay, so we can do that. Okay, so we will do, um, you know, 5, 7, 11, well, technically I should put these in order, 2, 3, 6, 9. That one. Okay, and then, like, not P union R. P union R is is this right here. They're saying not that, so it's going to be everything out there. So it's going to be, you know, 1, it's going to be 4, 8, and 10. Okay? Because it's not, P union R is, you know, this right here, this right here, and it's not that, so it's going to be that and all those. Okay, now not P union Q, so P union Q um, is right here, so not that, so that's, you know, um, 12, you know, 4, 8, 10. Sometimes it helps to write these down. And then not R, which is everything that's not R. Well, that's what, 5, um, 7, 11, 2, 1, 4, 8, 10. When they're in intersection, I like to write them down like this. So what do we got in common? We got 4, 8, and 10. So that's going to be, you know, 4, 8, and 10. 4, 8, and 10. So there we go. Those can get a little tricky, um, you know. Um, but you know, just if you, if you understand what this means, this means not. This means union. So you put them all together. This means intersection. So you look for what has the same. Okay. So let's move on to the next part. Okay. So let's look at the last part here. So we got some probability. So it says find that the probability that a number chosen at random from the universal set W will be a prime number. Well, okay, a prime number. Um, look at let's look at the prime numbers here. Okay, so we have um, you know two, three, five, seven, eleven. So that you know that is going to be there's what twelve numbers one through twelve. So it's going to just be five out of twelve right there. Okay, a prime number but not a factor of eighteen. Okay, so well uh, these two are factors of eighteen right here, um, and these are prime numbers. So this is just going to be one, two, three. So this is going to be three out of twelve. And then a factor of 18 or a multiple of 3, um, but not a prime number. Okay, so let's look at that. So, you know, here's the factors of 18, here's the multiples of 3, but this one's a prime number because it's all in those. So it's going to be 6, 9, and 12 right there. So they want probability, so that's just going to be 3 out of 12. A prime number given that is it is a factor of 18. So they just want us to look at this right here, the factors of 18, okay? And a prime number, okay, so which ones are prime? 2 and 3, so that's 2, how many are there? Uh, there are 5, so that would just be 2 out of 5. So anyway, um, that's, that's a pretty good problem. There's a lot going on there. There's conditional probability, there's simple probability, um, there's, you know, listing the elements which involves some shading um, and what else do we do we you know 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 your prime numbers know your factors what a factor is multiple the only other thing i can think of is square numbers um, you know they sometimes use these which would be one uh, four like one squared is one two squared is four three squared is nine sixteen twenty five etc and if you know those, if you know this definition, multiples, factors, prime numbers, it's no one allowed there, uh, you should be able to good to go on any type of these problems. Okay, so I'll leave you with that. I hope this helped out. Take it easy.